Hey, 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 it's Chrissy Lulu. So today I wanted to talk about my college experience thus far, because currently I'm actually an upper level junior. I'm almost a senior. This is shocking, guys. But anyways, before that, I wanted to explain what this drawing is. Um, it's from one of my favorite game series. It's a huge inspiration of mine. It's called Zero Escape. Don't know if you've heard of that. Um, it's kind of got a little bit of a niche community. It's an escape game. If you couldn't tell from Zero Escape. But um, this game has been such an inspiration to me and helped me through some really hard times. Like, um, it helped... The first game helped me through the loss of my dog. Uh, that was that really hit me really hard. But um, yeah, this is Diana from Zero Time Dilemma. Um, uh, I won't, I'll save gushing on this game for another video if you you guys so desire. Because this game series has stolen my heart. It's helped me in so many ways. But yeah, enough about that. College. College is fun, y'all. <laughs> so, I wanted to talk about college in this more realistic piece. Realistic with quotations, I guess. But, um. So, if you don't know, I go to just your normal state college. It's nothing special, it's not an art school. Um. I'm actually not even an art major, I'm an art minor, so. I've only taken a handful of classes. I've taken a couple art history classes, which I find quite interesting. I'm, I don't know if we'll take any more in the future. We'll see. Um, at this point in my college career, I'm actually pretty much done with my major and done with my minors. I have two minors and I'm pretty much done with both of them. So I'm kind of like, what do I do now? But um, I have been taking art classes and Kind of the only way I'm able to get into the upper level drawing classes is I need special permissions from the secretary um, of the art department. And luckily enough for me, um, I did take drawing one with her and she loves me. I sat next to her all the time in that class. That class taught me so much. Um, we, he, our, my, for drawing one, we were not allowed to use any color. We could only use graphite. And we would spend multiple class periods just studying stuff. We had different units. We did unit a unit on line. We did a unit on contour. We did a unit on... What's the word I'm looking for? Like, not volume. Uh, just shading and conveying stuff through your depth and shadow and honestly I learned so much I learned we did we learned about the face and where stuff lands on your face so that actually really helped me a lot cuz before I drew my faces way down on my face so they have miles of forehead which is actually a problem that most people don't have, which I learned from this class too. Most people have the problem where their faces are too long, they're too spread out, they're too high, the person has no forehead at all. But I would smush it all on the bottom half of the face. So if you don't already know from just experience and everything, eyes typically go around the center of the head, not, not below the head, but around the center of the head. And your hair is in, your hair starts growing in, I want to say, top. I can't remember. It, your hair starts growing, a, like, same different distance from, like, your chin to the mouth is hair to your head or something. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I can't remember. It's been a while. I took that class my freshman year. Um, I took... A year off from taking drawing classes actually I took 2d design in that year and art history because I was wondering about possibly pursuing an art an art major which I ended up not going for um, 
I'm an anthropology major, actually, um, which I actually love the subject. I have a lot of fun with it. It deals with looking at people and learning about them, and I find that really inspirational, and I've taken a lot of that and kind of tried to put it into my characters and stuff, try and make them seem more worldly, I guess. Um, but he, in this class, he was really strict in drawing one. Um, by midterm, we had lost half our class. So yeah, it was, it was not for everyone. He made it clear that this was not an easy A class. It was not going to be an easy GPA booster. You actually had to put effort in and you had to actually try. And if you put the effort in and you tried, you got a lot out of that class. And I actually, a lot of people did not like this teacher. I'm going to call him Mick. <laughs> um, most people did not like Mick, but um, I would, I remember staying after class for at least like half an hour and stuff. I would stay after class for so long just talking to him. And like, it was awesome. I love this guy. He, he really wanted me to be an art major, so I'm kind of sad that I didn't go for that. Um, at one point, I really thought maybe I was going to go for it, but I think if I really want to do stuff, I can go for it without my art, without doing an art major. My parents kind of were more of my inf in influence, I guess, in me not going for the art major. But anyways, come to my junior year, it didn't take many, my sophomore year, but junior year, I took drawing two and ceramics one. Um, just because I don't really do a lot of sculpting on this channel, I don't think I'll talk about my ceramics classes at the moment. But, <laughs> so first semester of junior year, those were my two art classes. And drawing two was actually a great class. We had a small class, so it was easy to see everyone's work and have discussions and get to know everyone's work really well. Sadly, a lot of the people from my Drawing 2 class didn't move on to Drawing 3, but yeah. Um, in this class, we were allowed to use color, so this was a lot of our first experiences with color. Um, the first assignment threw us right into color. We did a still life in oil pastels which are, you know, crepas, they're kind of like that. So they're just pastel, they're wet, you have to wait for them to dry or everything becomes muddy and gross. And I would actually love to use that medium more, but we experienced, or we experimented with a lot of mediums and with a lot of colors, we were really encouraged to experience, or like experiment with color. Now that we know the basics of art, it was go further, explore more, try more, um, do more. And just through drawing two, not so much drawing one, I experienced like so many different like styles. Well, I didn't really like everyone's style in this class. There were some arts that I'd look at every week and be like, ugh, what is that? But <laughs> um, there were some people in that class who I honestly love their art and it's as he says um it's a competition while we're all equals he considers himself to be an equal with us he says that while we may be classmates and everything we're all technically kind of in a way competing with each other just the way the art world is and a lot of the people in my classes especially my drawing classes are art majors, so I'm at <laughs> a bit more of a disadvantage for them. I'm the odd one out in my classes often because I am not an art major. I'm taking drawing classes and not I'm an art major, so I'm a bit of a weird one in the class. Um, though I do think I try my best. I try and be one of the top Goldman students. Um, I love everything I put out in my classes. And finally, um, sorry, I kind of lost <laughs> my train of thought. My dad kind of came in, but um, now that I'm in drawing three, it's kind of the same experience as drawing two. 
except in drawing three you're with every single upper class student so drawing three is the class is drawing three to drawing eight so we've got like a whole mix of students so it's kind of awesome to be there was so many different people at so many different skill sets but our skill levels and everything but yeah um sorry if that didn't really go very well with the rest of the video i wanted to get that in before the end and i'm like out of time so if you want me to talk more on this i'd love to um leave a comment down below what you want me to talk about more leave a like if you really liked it maybe i'll make a follow-up if i get enough um subscribe if you want to see more from me get updated on my videos get updated if i make another video on this topic and share with your friends spread my word around i love it <laughs> so yep see you next video bye